Hello everybody. So today I want to show you how to find about orthogonal basis. So to answer about this one, we apply the formula in here. That is about Rand Smith orthogonalization. So the first thing we need to know that S1, that is this one in here, S2, that is this one in here, and S3, that is this one in here. So the formula in here, we have three vector, V number one, that is about the vector number one equals to S number one. V number two, that is about S number two minus S2 multiplied by V number 1 over V number 1 multiplied by V number 1 and we have V number 1 in here and V number 3 that is about S number 3 minus S number 3 multiplied by V number 1 over V number 1 with V number 1 multiply by V number 1 minus S number 2 or S number 3 V number 2 over V number 2 V number 2 and we have V number 2 in here so we can apply this formula and we have the final answer. The first one, that is about V number 1 equals to S number 1. S number 1, that is this one in here. So we just copy this one. Now we go to V number 2, that is this one. So in this one, we need to find S number 2 multiplied by V number 1. So S number 2, we have this one in here. So we have this matrix, they go in this way. So we have 6 negative number A, negative number 2, negative number 4. We multiply by V number 1. V number 1, that is this one. So, this is the basic number 6 multiplied by negative number 1. Negative number 8 multiplied by number 3. Negative number 2 multiplied by number 1. Negative number 4 multiplied by number 1. So we calculate this one and we have and we have negative 36. Now we need to find V number 1 and V number 1. So that should be like this. So negative number 1 multiplied by negative number 1, number 3 with number 3, 1 with number 1, and number 1 with number 1. So we calculate and we got number 12. Now after we have this one, we go back in here. So S number 2. That is about this one. This one, we have negative 36.
and this one we have number 12 v number one that is about this one so we need to simplify this one we calculate and that is negative number three negative and negative we have positive number three so we have this one now number three multiply by negative number one number three one one so we have like this So number six multiplied by uh, sorry number six plus negative number three that is about positive number three this one we have positive number one nine plus negative number eight we have positive number one three plus negative number two we have positive number one this one we have negative number one now we can do the last one in here. So S number three, that is about six three six negative number three. And V number one, that is about this one. So we need to follow similar this one in here. And I will write the answer for this one. We have number six. The next one, we have V1 and V1. We just calculate in here. And that is about number 12. The next one, S number 3 with V number 2. So S number 3, that is about this one. V number 2, that is about this one. We just calculate in here. So we have, and we got about 30. The last one, that is V number 2 with V number 2. So that should be like this. So we calculate this one. We have number 12. So we return back to this one. So S number three, that is about this one. S three V one, we have number six. The next one we have number 12. The next one we have 30 divided by number 12 in here. V number 1. That is about this one. V number 2. That is this one. So we need to simplify and I will write a final answer in here. And here is the final answer.
Now, we can put the conclusion in here. So, we put this one go in here. So, P number two, this one. And the last one. 